from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 19th, 2023. Fierce battles between Israeli troops and terror group Hamas continue in Gaza, the IDF announcing more casualties today. They are 24-year-old Captain in Reserve Rotem Yosef Levy, 31-year-old Master Sergeant in Reserve Daniel Yaakov Ben-Harosh, and 25-year-old Sergeant First Class in Reserve Maoz Fenigstein. During the ground operation in Gaza, the IDF continues to eliminate Hamas terrorists and destroy terror infrastructure. It is also carrying out complex activity underground. The IDF wrote of a special unit operating within the underground tunnel route of the terrorist organization Hamas, where they're carrying out operations within that structure. The IDF also shared today that it took out one of Hamas's main money men in an airstrike, who it said alongside his brother funneled tens of millions of dollars to fund Hamas's military forces, terrorist salaries, and war activities. Yesterday, the IDF found roughly over $1 million inside a senior Hamas terrorist residence designated for terrorist activity. Rockets from Gaza were fired at central Israel today, including at Tel Aviv, the first rocket barrage in a week to target the city. Sirens sounded across Tel Aviv as well as in the surrounding areas of Bat Yam, Rishon LeZion, and other towns. Rockets were also fired from Lebanon at northern Israel. Israeli troops responded at the source of the fire. The IDF also said its Air Force successfully intercepted a suspicious aerial target that crossed the territory of Lebanon towards the territory of Israel also taking out a terrorist squad and terrorist infrastructure of Hezbollah, including rocket launch sites. And the IDF said yesterday a number of missiles were identified that crossed from Syrian territory to Israel and fell in open areas. IDF forces, it said, attacked with artillery, the sources of fire in Syrian territory, and IDF tanks attacked a military position of the Syrian army in response to the launches. Well, here in the U.S., the Secure Community Network said that over this past weekend, it tracked over 200 swatting incidents and false bomb threats across the country, targeting Jewish facilities, among them many synagogues, spanning multiple states. Swatting is the practice of making a prank call to emergency services in order to dispatch a large number of police to a location. The Anti-Defamation League said Sunday, we are continuing to investigate and work with law enforcement on several reported email bomb threats against Jewish institutions across the country. Such incidents and other anti-Semitic activity have risen significantly since the Hamas massacre of October the 7th. A delegation from the ADL with CEO Jonathan Greenblatt was in Israel this weekend meeting with its president, Isaac Herzog, to discuss rising anti-Semitism in the wake of the massacre. The group also visited Kfar Aza, one of the kibbutzim ravaged by Hamas on that terrible day, to bear witness to the atrocities. Actor and comedian Jerry Seinfeld arrived in Israel yesterday to express that same message of solidarity, also meeting with families of hostages still remaining in captivity in Gaza, as well as with recently released hostages together with his wife Jessica, also visiting Kibbutz Be'eri, another kibbutz ravaged by the Hamas massacre. Seinfeld joins several Jewish artists who have come to Israel of late to show their support, including actor, comedian Michael Rappaport, who has been in Israel since last week, also meeting with families of hostages and speaking at a large gathering this past Saturday night in what is now known as Hostage Square in Tel Aviv. Currently, there are 129 men, women, and babies who have been in captivity for 71 days. 71 days. They need to come home now. Aksha. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, December the 19th at 7 o'clock. Panelists look at the threat posed by fascist groups in the U.S. and surveyed the responses offered by Jewish Americans. 
At 8, Robert Siegel looks at the latest trends in Washington and what might be in store for 2024 with panelists Emmy Bazelon, E.J. Dion Jr., and Aaron David Miller. At 9, Rabbi Joe Potasnik is on L'Chaim. At 10, performances from Ron Rifkin, Joel Gray, and Deborah Monk at Culturefest NYC. And coming up next is the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 19th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Am Yisrael Chai.